Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements in Taurus, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, there is a link in the description box, or you can click the join button below for more information. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Some of you guys can be dealing with another earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I did, I'm pretty sure I just saw the King of Pentacles, so yeah. Let's see. So we have the lovers, Gemini energy. We have the three of wands. We have justice, Libra energy. And we have, okay, the queen of swords in reverse. Okay, so. Mm. Somebody is, you guys may feel like some, you've been waiting for somebody. How do I say this? I feel like you guys have been waiting for the love that you deserve to come in for the relationship that you deserve to come in. I feel like some of you guys have also felt like you've been done dirty in some way, like waiting for you. You're, you're wanting justice. Like you're just wanting to get what you deserve. Play about the lovers. Okay. So the four of swords is, so there could be like, a period of like withdrawal here between you and some of your somebody's making a decision to either withdraw from a relationship or there's like a period of like maybe some of you guys feel like you need to protect yourself from somebody or like there's like solitude somebody's doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about a connection here some of you guys are trying to heal from a connection tell me about the three of wands you know the ten of wands ten of cups in reverse so What are you guys waiting for? <laughs> you guys are waiting for justice. It's like you're wanting something to manifest that isn't manifesting. Like, tell me about the justice card. Yeah, the, you guys, some of you guys literally could be waiting for somebody to get a divorce. Like, like there's energy here of like a divorce or. I don't, I don't want to say what I'm feeling yet. I want to get more clarity before I say what I feel. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Somebody is dealing with... Um, somebody that... Yeah, the Hanged Man. I saw the Ace of Cups when I was um, shuffling. Hmm. Where does Taurus fit into this situation? Where does Taurus fit into this situation? Yeah. It's like somebody's not working with you. Somebody's not trying to compromise. Somebody's like, huh. There's a lack of teamwork. Like something just isn't working. But I feel like you guys are trying to heal from this. Something that didn't work. Tell me more. The sun. It looks like you guys are successfully doing that, though. I see you in like in getting into a more positive energy. Yeah, Leo energy. We also have the hermit. So you guys are like healing. You're doing a lot of introspecting. Um, so what is justice and the three of cups in reverse? Somebody. Scorpio energy, the fool in reverse. Somebody's not ready, guys. This person that you're that you were trying to make something work with, and it was very one-sided and imbalanced. It was unfair. I feel like spirit is saying that it's like they're not ready. They still have lessons or even karma that they need to still like play out with like a it could be with a third party. What is the Ten of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody is like 
not doing well right now. They're disappointed. Somebody was trying to manifest something that didn't manifest. Like this could either be you or the, the person that's coming through in your energy. It's like somebody was waiting or trying to manifest something. They were confident that something was going to manifest or work out, or they were trying to wait for some type of like unhappy family situation. I'm kind of feeling like four or two. What were they waiting for? What is this waiting energy? The Knight of Wands? Or you were just trying to wait for this person to settle down or. Yeah, you were waiting for this person to step up. But I feel like now you guys are in this energy of like, you're no longer waiting for this person to do right by you. You're trying to just withdraw. You're trying to heal. You're you're no longer holding on to that hope that things will, this person will grow up, that things can be harmonious and happy between you and this person. I feel like this Queen of Swords could be you. What does the Queen of Swords in reverse mean for Taurus? All right, so we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh-oh. What does that mean for Taurus? The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys are just like no longer nurturing this situation. And you're open. You're like kind of like going cold on this person. And um, like you just feel like there's something here. What is it? Tell me more about what the Queen of Swords means. You're, you're, you can't get over some. Either this person is hung up on somebody from their past that is treats them like shit. Or this is you guys that has gone cold on this person. You're no longer nurturing this because you feel like it's not going to grow into anything. And it's like you guys are opening up to the possibility of new love. Where does the Queen of Swords in reverse mean for whoever this person is? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that's possibly going through a divorce or like a failed family situation. Where did that card go? Hold on, guys. One of my cards just disappeared. What? Okay, I found it. There's like a lot of conflict going on within a family situation. What does this mean for a Taurus? Temperance. Oh, now somebody's wanting to reconcile with you. It's like somebody's coming towards you because, yeah, they wanted to try to recover this. Because I feel like they were like trying to make something else grow or. There's whatever, whatever situation, they maybe had a decision here to make between you and something else or you and another person. I feel like they decided to try to wait a situation out versus having like a new love situation with you. Like it was something that they were trying to see if things would get better or things would improve. If something would grow into something, but it's not 10 of cups in reverse, 10 of pentacles in reverse, five of swords. Like there is turmoil in that situation, y'all. So now they're like having like a different, they're wanting reconciliation with you. Four of cups in reverse. They're starting to look at things differently. And with the nine of pentacles, it's like they're slowly making their way towards you with like something solid here. Yeah. Six of wands. It's like you're getting some type of recognition or you're getting some type of um, success here. Victory. But why is the king of wands in reverse? Aries Leo Sag energy. What about this King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, this person, yeah, it's like they were one foot in, one foot out the door of a situation. Like they were still trying to hold on to hope that another situation would maybe get better or like grow into something, but it's not. But why, why the King of Wands in reverse? They were selfish. They were, this is somebody that was like wanting to stay in their comfort zone. They wanted you, but they also wanted their comfort zone. What are they working on? See, they wanted to work. Yeah, the King of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands. Like, this is what about this Queen of Wands? Yeah, they're letting they're letting somebody go. That they're realizing things can't work out with that person. What's this mean for Taurus? They were trying to work on something, but the Page of Wands is in reverse again. That did already fall out. What about the Page of Wands in reverse? The Moon. Somebody had you scared this person. They had self limiting beliefs when it comes to you. Very de defensive, refusing to compromise. So what's happening going forward? Pisces energy here. The tower in reverse. Yeah, this person has a fear of change. The strength card, though. Mm, they're in, somebody's up in their head and somebody's losing sleep. Mm. Let's see. What is going on here? This, this reading is not very clear cut. I need to see. How does this? Mm, okay, let's see. How does this person feel about C seven of swords? There was some type of deception or lie or something here. Let's see. 
Tell me about how this person feels about Taurus. What are they feeling in regards to Taurus? How is this person 10, 10 on the camera? Hmm. They may feel like, mm, let me see. What, how is this person feeling in regards to Taurus? How are they feeling? The eight of wands. So there's been sudden change, rush of love. So tell me more. Magician. Yeah, they, they want you. And this is maybe kind of like a, a a sudden change of heart within this person. There's sudden, suddenly he being hit with all these feelings and emotions for you. They're wanting to manifest something with you. Making things manifest. Want what you want wants you to be could be dealing with an Aries. Tell me more. The hermit, though. Yeah, it's like maybe after a time of soul searching or solitude, they're gonna be starting to gain new perspectives here. Yeah, look at this waiting. What is it with this waiting energy? Feelings of neediness, hopeful they'll return. What does this mean for Taurus? Waiting. The emperor and discontent board. You guys are sick of waiting for this person. I'm telling you, this could be you guys that have been waiting for this person, hoping that one day that they will see the light. I see them doing it, but I feel like you guys are starting to grow. This person does not want to miss an opportunity with you, but I feel like you guys are starting to grow like impatient with this person. Somebody else had a, I think it was the collective reading. I did a few days ago. So what does this mean going forward? With What does this mean for my Taurus going forward? Yeah, there's some type of change here. Change in your love life, fate and destiny. What is all this family chaos? So what is all this chaos? See, we have the Queen of Swords again. What about the Queen of Swords? Somebody that they're walking away from. I'm telling you. Maybe they were really hesitant to walk away from this person, but they're walking away from them setting boundaries, finding their independence. It says walking away, leaving the past behind, seeking deeper meaning. So what does that mean for their connection with Taurus? It could have been somebody that um, they do did, I don't know, with the Empress in reverse. It's just something where like, it's been a blockage for them. Somebody that's very overbearing, smothering. It could be their mother. For some of you, it's their mother. Wow, manipulative. Somebody has a manipulative cold, spiteful ass, deceitful, negative, malicious, bitter ass mom. Okay. So that could be for some of you, for others of you, it's their baby mom. Okay. Somebody that's in a distorted feminine energy. Okay. They're walking away from this person. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow. So somebody was being manipulated by their mother. They're walking away from this person. Yeah, they're walking away from this. For some of you, like I said, it could be a, the mother or father of their children. But for, um, for a lot of you, I'm getting like a distorted. It's like a mother. And like, yeah. They're setting or they're just setting boundaries with that person. Okay, so what's this mean for Taurus? What does this mean for Taurus? This could be you guys walking away from your mother. What does this mean for Taurus? Page of Swords, death. Okay. Manifesting you. Yeah, wants you back, moving into alignment. So you guys are getting into, yeah, awakening in the Hierophant. Okay, feeling of oneness, surrendering. Yeah, spiritual love. Okay, so what is the Page of Swords and death, though? They're gaining some type of clarity. Okay, I'm just going to clarify it. What is the Page of Swords and death, Scorpio energy? The Queen of Cups. What about the Queen of Cups? The King of Cups. Oh, what's this mean for Taurus? The Nine of Pentacles. What about the Nine of Pentacles? The Tower, okay, and Karmic Partner. What about Karmic Partner? The Four of Swords. Somebody is withdrawing from some type of karmic situation or karmic partner. Somebody is finding their freedom. I can't make it up. Who is this karmic partner? Who is this karmic partner? Then what? What about the nine of cups? The page of pentacles. But why is karmic partner here? Frozen hearts. They were, somebody was resisting letting go of a karmic. I don't know. Hmm. Who's the queen and what's the queen and king, queen, king of cups mean for Taurus? Judgment. Yeah, they feel like there's love. There's true love between the two of you. 
they're wanting another chance or they're wanting to bring this situation back together. I definitely feel like somebody was confused about who they wanted to like. Yeah, the three of swords. What is this? The lovers. They had a choice. Mm, rejection. Yeah, they were resisting this connection with you. They were resisting letting go of something and they were also resisting surrendering to this connection. But let's get some more clarity on what's going on here. It's still not very clear. So we, I definitely see that this person is walking away from a queen of swords, whether that's for somebody that they were romantically involved with or for some of you, it's their mom, okay? It could have been somebody that they had children with. It could have, it could have been somebody that they thought they were going to have a kid with. I don't know. For some of you, it was a, I keep hearing in my head, for some of you, it was a fake pregnancy. Somebody could have faked that they were pregnant or having this person's child for some of you. Oh, goodness. Because there was some type of deception, lies, trickery. This person was maybe deceived. They were manipulated. Mm -hmm. Tell me more what's going on here. Grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. Power, I'm telling you, they think you guys can be, yeah, they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you an unstoppable couple. Justice. Yeah, we have justice here already. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. I told you, this person is doing a lot of contemplating and thinking about you in this connection and what you deserve and what, how they want to proceed. They're, they're strategizing. I feel like they're not really wanting to rush. They're want, they're thinking it through. They're not trying, they're trying not to be impulsive. But it's like they're doing, they're trying to think about how they can make something right with you. And they're going to take a leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. And we have toxicity. I'm telling you, they're, it's, it says their toxic friendships, family, whoever they had around them are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Mm -hmm. Somebody was maybe manipulating them about you or they were just so used to toxicity. Yeah. Mixed signals. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. So yeah, they were maybe sending you mixed signals. We have anxiously waiting though. I told you there's this energy of waiting. This person's been waiting for you to come back to them. But like, yeah, they search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. How many more? Past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. Mm. we have overflow yeah sudden rush of love we have the eight of wands energy their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end huh see sexual union so it says their greatest sex memory is with you but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Back of the deck, we have the right. See, there is somebody else. They chose someone else over you. And they and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. Why was that? Why did they think it was the right thing to do? But they're haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. Give me, if you can give me any clarity about this rival. What's the rival? The fight? What does the rival mean for this person? The rival. Divine truth. See, I'm telling you, they're seeing that something, well, there was some type of deception. Whoever they chose over you, that person was deceiving them. It says we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. I'm telling you, there were, and it could it has something to possibly do with children. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. Yeah, new perspective. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. So yeah, in dreams, you're heavily in this person's dreams. Or it says that whatever they're dreaming about the two of you, they want to manifest that into their reality. See, something was, what was, tell me more about what this divine truth was, spirit. What's this divine truth? Innocence, that you were innocent. So they're realizing that you were not, you were innocent. They were manipulated against you. Somebody was maybe telling them the wrong, like making it you out to be something that you weren't. 
somebody was lying to you, uh, lying to your person about you or trying to make them see you in a light that wasn't true or something like that. But they're going to see the truth here. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but they feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. Hmm. Let's see one more. Why? What were this? What's this deception? Yeah, something to do with they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. Maybe they're realizing that they were deceiving themselves about you. They're finally going to be seeing the truth about you in this connection. We have insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, cra craving you more and more. And then we have the fight. That card has been sitting out for a while, but I wanted to read it last because I was trying to get clarity on something else. But it says their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. For some of you, it's because they think that you have another person. I don't know, but it says regret. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. Yeah. Hmm. Um, let's see if I can get a few, a little bit more clarity about what this is. Cause it's still kind of a little bit vague, but Hmm. Anything else that they need to know, spirit? We have ancient history, ancestral karma, gifts from the ancestors, someone you have a past with, elaborate. What about ancient history? The unexpected, surprises, expect the unexpected. So you are you could be getting a gift from your ancestors. There's something here about maybe you getting a, an unexpected gift from your ancestors. It says expect the unexpected, surprises, shocking revelations. We have battle wounds. Yeah, they know that you've been through it. An ongoing battle, weary, guarded, hurt, and past relationships. What does this have to do with this unexpected? The devil's domain, obsession, addictions, and poor habits, codependency. What? Okay. So what does this have to do with the unexpected? The T. Talking about you having a reputation, gossip. Okay. What's this have to do with Taurus? Soul family. Attracting your tribe, soul contracts, soulmate. Okay. So what's up to do with this gossip and stuff? See unhealthy choices. Somebody was talking to the wrong people about your connection or they were involving the wrong people in your connection. I don't know. Because it says careful who and what you let in. Focus on your health. Explore the waters. There's someone better. Keep your options open. Figure out what you really want. Gateway to strong urge to express yourself. Okay. What's that mean for this person? Fleeting moments. Lost track of time quicker than expected. What? Fighting and arguments not on the same page. What is going on here? Collector. Yeah, this person. Yeah, many love interests. Not ready to settle down. But what's that to do with Taurus? The moon. Things are not as they seem. See, yeah, there's information yet to be revealed. What's going to be revealed to them? Mm. Yeah, there's something about an illusion. What about this? What's going to be revealed? What, tell me more about what's going to be revealed going forward. Okay, what about file dance? Fanned out, available. Why? What's this mean for Taurus? What's this mean for Taurus and this person? Cons yeah, ooh, what? Fair is fair. You're getting justice. I just see it. You, justice keeps coming out. What is their justice spirit? What is the justice that they're getting? The past is going to return to you. Or yeah, what about that? Fair is fair in photographs. What about that? New connection, shaping your reality. What does it have to do with this person? This justice that they're getting. getting. Lack of action, reluctance to make an effort. What's this mean for a Taurus? Mm, you're, I see this person returning to you. Somebody's going to be returning to you. If this was somebody that thought that they wanted to get out there and explore options, that is ending. Like that's ending quicker than you like that. That's ending. Okay. Like if they were exploring other options, y'all there, that's coming to an end. What's happening with this communication? Yeah. They're going to want to talk about 
What do they want to communicate about? That they're what they're, somebody is about to want to come in and clean up their life for you. Somebody, if they had other options and they were not ready to settle down, and you guys were not on the same page, spirit says quicker than you can ex, than you expect. Somebody's gonna be coming back towards you, wanting to talk, and saying that they're ready to get clean up their life for you, to change their damn life for you, make healthier choices, get rid of their options, their distractions. And spirit says this is happening. You're gonna be getting justice here faster than you think. The past is gonna come back to you, but spirit says the ball will be in your court. You will be the shaper. You will be shaping your reality. You will be in control of what you what you will let in and who you like. It's like you, the control will be the, the tables are turning here. In a nutshell, like this person is going to come back. They're going to choose to want to let go of everything and anything that's been keeping the two of you apart. But when they come back, you the ball will be in your court. That's what I keep seeing. You're going to be very skeptical, skeptical and hesitant when it comes to this person. Pessimistic. I feel like you're going to be a little bit reluctant to put too much energy and effort into this person. Um, but yeah, like that card says that they want to, they, they're going to want to come in and do the right thing. And they feel like the right thing to do is come in and offer you something solid. You're just going to be skeptical about this, but it's like, they're going to be wanting to come in and be more vulnerable with you. They're going to be getting rid of their limits and their restrictions, whatever they had. They're going to, whatever this illusion was, I don't know. If, if there, it was a superficial relationship that they were holding on to, they're letting that go. But it says opening your heart, healing old emotional pain, preparing for new love. Yeah. They want to offer you something traditional now. What is this? The moon and the co the cost of vanity manifestation. What does that do with fears and things are not as they seem? There's information yet to be revealed. Use your head. Yeah, give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let your emotions control you. What's going to be revealed? Not amused. Don't care anymore. Hard to please. What's this mean for Taurus? What's this mean for Taurus? Yeah, taking a risk. You feel like it's risky dealing with this person. What's this mean for this person? Yeah, there's someone's wanting to learn how to love you. Someone's going to want to get closer to you, get to know you more. They're studying you. They can be watching you. But they're, yeah, genuine love, kind, loving, and generous can be trusted with your heart. But now you're not. And it says, yeah, recognition. They're going to come in and give you the recognition that you deserve. Favorable outcome, joyful. Yeah, it's, this is, yeah, this is going to be um, positive. But I see you guys being very hesitant with, like, skeptical of this. But it's like, and this is, Spirit says, this is a gift from your ancestors. Is this person finally deciding to, to, to give this to you? But I don't know. Spirit, you're going to feel like it's risky being involved with this person. And I'm not saying y'all are wrong for feeling that way, especially if they, I don't know. Give me more. What are they walking away from, Spirit? What is this that they're walking away from? Yeah, they had option, a, a choice. It, it, they could be just like wanting to like no longer play the field. They're like, you know, I've seen all that I've needed to see. I'm ready to settle down with just Taurus, right? They're, that's what they're walking away from. And I feel like there's also somebody here to a mom or a, a feminine, a distorted feminine that they're, they're walking away from as well. But yeah, it says unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed now before is open. Yeah, try. I told you they were trying to fix something, making the best out of a bad situation, correcting or improving something, trying to fix it. What's this mean for Taurus? Yeah, you're their twin. What does this painting red roses mean for this person? Yeah. What does this mean for this person? Yeah, they've been wasting their time trying to make something work that's not supposed to work or come together. It says nothing good will come of it, prolonging the inevitable, not worth waiting for. Yeah. What they were yearning for and what they were, they were waiting for something to change, but it's not going to change. You guys have wish fulfillment coming in. You guys have been waiting a long time and now you're about to have an unexpected major change. It says cosmic intervention, intervention, powerful changes of heart. This could have been something that you guys manifested. All right. But it says, yeah, wishes granted, wishes coming true, magical ener energy surround you. Your thoughts are manifesting. And yeah, this could possibly be your twin flame for some of you. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are your twin flame, yin and yang, life forever changed. So yeah, everything is about to change here. This person's about to have like a sudden change of heart or a sudden realization of how, what they feel for you and what they want with you. And they're going to be walking away from some things here, but there was something that they needed to give up on. They needed to stop trying to like make, like they were in this illusion that something was healthy. It was okay. It would get better one day. There was nothing wrong with that situation. That was, that was false. Okay. They're walking away from that. I feel like they're also wanting to settle down now. They're not wanting to explore any other options. They feel like they've seen all they need to see. And Spirit says this is happening sooner than later. 
So we're going to take this over to the extended reading to take a deeper look to see what you guys can expect going forward. Feelings, intentions, guidance, all that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. I'll see you in the extended reading. Bye.